Hey everybody, The Hype Zone is back and we've got four amazing looking books to talk about this week, so let's not even waste any time, let's just get to it! Indie Comics Underground presents Hype Zone! Hype Zone! Hey everybody, Jam Creates here with another episode of Hype Zone. This is episode six. Uh, I am sitting in a new chair, so if you hear any squeaks, uh, it's probably from the chair. It's a well, it's not a new chair, but it's a new chair to being here in the studio. Uh, if you're wondering what exactly have I just stumbled into, what is the hype zone? What is Indie Comics Underground? What is this? Where am I? Um, <laughs> hype zone is a section of my zine that I've broken out into a video series where we talk about really cool looking. Uh, upcoming indie crowdfunded books so you can get in on the action uh, indie comics underground is my free online zine dedicated to indie and crowdfunded comics you can just go to indiecomicsunderground.com and you can read all the issues that have been put out thus far uh, and while you're there you can sign up and if you subscribe you'll get early access to every single issue before the rest of the internet gets it all right, so with that out of the way, let's get into our first book of this episode. I'm trying to, like, trim the fat. Let's get this sucker going, because this is a really great episode here. I, I feel like I'm really excited about some of this stuff. So, and I'm excited to be back, too. I know it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, this is every Friday. Hype Zone videos, in theory. <laughs> it's every Friday. Uh, so, anyway, first book we're talking about here is Fatal. Now, this... Uh, you know, besides being um, something that you'd be like, well, how do I pronounce that? It's fatal. It's not fat L uh, <laughs> or anything like that. Um, it's pronounced fatal. It stands for Flynn's Alien Termination and Logistics. This is a book being brought to you by Clint Stoker. If that name sounds familiar to you, he is the author of Downcast uh, 1 and 2. Um, obviously, he's the creator and author of the Downcast books, which were both successfully crowdfunded, did really well for him. Um, and actually, the first uh, Downcast is going to be brought to uh, Alterna Comics, uh, I believe, later this year. It's going to start coming out um, four issues, I think it is. Um, and it's going to be being put out by Alterna Comics. So if you missed out on that, you'll be able to get it in glorious newsprint. Um, anyway. What is Fatal? Fatal is a space exterminator uncovers an infestation with a sinister twist. Um, so you can see already he's clearly already reached his funding goal. Um, it was the goal was was eight thousand. It's a fixed goal, which obviously means if they didn't make the goal, then the book doesn't happen. They're already at thirty two thousand four hundred eighty nine dollars and five hundred and eighty backers. There's twenty eight days left in this campaign. And if you're wondering why has this campaign uh, blown up so quickly, um, considering it really only launched a couple days ago, part of the reason is this absolutely incredible artwork by Charlie Snogans. Um, so let me just I'll give you the real uh, right here. It's 52 pages, full color uh, graphic novel being done by uh like i said written by clint stoker and drawn by illustrated by charlie snogans um so if you want i can do sometimes i do the little when the, when it's short enough i i tend to do the uh the announcer voice i don't know that this necessarily lends itself to the announcer voice um it just says, you know, a desperate financial situation leads Flynn, an alien exterminator, to follow a distress call from a posh planet full of sycophants. When Flynn learns that the people's minds have also been invaded, Flynn is stranded and running out of options. He must choose to save the survivors or escape. So this guy is essentially like he's an alien exterminator, basically. And he gets a call to this really rich planet. So, of course, he can't resist. And then when he gets there, stuff goes sideways and, you know, all kinds of bad stuff happens. Uh, so you can see him here. He's he's hanging off the side of a building. He's being pursued by these monsters. Uh, well, aliens, I assume. Um, just really, really amazing. Like, the, oh, look at the artwork on this, dude. Uh, anyway, um, look at this is a, two, a, a double page spread here. Like, just look at this stuff. Like, Charlie is 
just a fantastic artist. I mean, look at this. Like, look at the just a cool fantasy alien landscape. You know, he's the hero hanging off the building, being attacked by nine billion of these crazed things coming out of the side of the building and everything. It just looks so cool. Um, just really, really good. So they've got a couple of they've got uh two they've got two variant covers and then the artist edition, which is just black and white. Um, the other ones obviously are perfect bound and full color. Um, and there's some more art here. This is actually a wraparound cover. This is the main cover. Um, so what's really neat is it's actually a wraparound cover. I've always been a sucker for a cool wraparound cover. I just think it's neat. Um, and then you get some more artwork here. Just so good. Like, I can't even say enough how great the artwork really is. Um, and it sounds like a fun story. Like, he's going to come to this world. He's a, you know, he's a... a kind of a, a scruddy i guess you you would call him kind of like a han solo ish sort of character i guess maybe um kind of just you know looking out for number one bumming around doesn't really have a lot of money kind of cowboy bebop ish in a way um doesn't have a lot of money but he does a job and you know he does the job for money and he gets it like basically gets an offer that's just too good to refuse and when he gets there things go bad so there is, you know, as far as perks go, uh, the featured perk here is an interesting one. It's a hundred dollars, so that's that's a bit steep for most people, I'm sh I'm sure. Uh, but what it does is it includes all the books. Um, you get your name in the book. You get a trading card set, and it ships first. Um, but if you just want the regular book, you just want the what did I say it was? Fifty two pages. Yeah, fifty two pages um, with the wraparound cover, which is most likely the one that I will get. Is right here twenty five. Boom. That's pretty standard for the way these things work nowadays. I mean, 56 pages. What are I, 52 pages. I'm sorry. 52 pages. Uh, wraparound cover. Fantastic artwork. Uh, sounds like a fun science fiction action adventure story, which is right up my alley. Um, just really good. And then there's the variant uh, right here, um, which is more of like a painted cover. Um, that same thing, 25. You can get that. And then they've got like... You can get the book plus the artist edition for 50. You can get the variant plus the artist edition. You can get both covers for 50 and so on and so forth. Um, and then, you know, you can get a head sketch for 150. And then just uh, you can actually get drawn into the book for 500. Um, so anyway, you can see like um, you, you can I, I don't really need to say too much. I feel like about this one other than like just look at the quality of the artwork. It's so good. If you get a chance, um, the link for the, all the campaigns that are going to be featured in this episode will be in the description below. So I always do that so that it's easy for you to find it and get more information. Um, I normally I don't watch the videos, honestly, on Indiegogo campaigns. I know a lot of people put a lot of effort into their videos. And for some people, the video can be a make or break thing, whether or not they back it. For me, I don't really care because I'm not buying a video. I'm buying a comic book. Um, however, I would recommend watching this video because it's really, really well done. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastic video. So that is Fatal from Clint Stoker and Charlie Snogans. Uh, so I definitely, definitely would would recommend checking that one out. It looks super, super cool. Um, so while I've got you here, don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at jam creates uh, at jam underscore creates, excuse me. And you can also follow me on Instagram also at jam underscore creates. Um, and we're going to go to our next book. Boom, boom, boom. This one's very different. We're going from one thing to another for sure. Like I said, you can follow me on Instagram at jam underscore creates. I'm also on Parlor. Uh, it is just jam creates there. No, uh, no underscore. They don't have the underscore there or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, this is Brick a Brack number two. Now, this one, uh, if you are a fan of the channel, if you've been here for a while, um, if you've been watching my videos, uh, you will have seen. Uh, that I actually had Ryan on the creator of Brick a Brack. I had Ryan on as a guest on a live stream. Uh, and I also uh, did review of Brick a Brack number one, uh, which I really enjoyed. Uh, so this is the second issue. Uh, it is continuing the story from where the first one left off. Uh, you know, it's, it's Brick a Brack number two, a fantasy Christmas story. As the war on planet Christmas escalates to incalculable heights. A boy must defend his home. Um, 
so it, like I said, it's continuing where it left off. Right now, he's got 44 backers. He's at 1588. He needs 8600 to reach his goal, um, and he's only got 11 days left. I'm not sure why this one is is slow like this because the first book was really a great quality, and I feel like anyone who backed the first one would want to come back and back this one too. Um, I mean, listen, I understand the world we're in and things change and whatever, but uh, really looks like a great book. And I know it seems weird to be talking about Christmas in the middle of August, <laughs> but, you know, if you want to get these things in a timely fashion, you have to think ahead. So, um, you know, he's talking, you know, he talks about, Ryan talks about how uh, we met our main characters, Garrett and Marie, as they embarked on their journey to find Father Christmas and save Planet Christmas from impending doom um because the nutcracker army was taking over to steal the resources uh issue two continues the story with more characters and more stuff so you're going to meet jack frost the evil caesar demetrius and the ghosts of christmas past present and future um so this book is good for all ages uh the original you can see the artwork here um some really nice artwork um it continues it's the same artist as the first book really good stuff it has a great fun style it's it's meant for all ages uh so you know your kids can read this you can read this and honestly uh as an adult um it's an, it's just as enjoyable as a read honestly and i could certainly see at some point making it a tradition to read especially when like the whole thing is done it, i could see it being a tradition to read all of them together like i think that could be a, a fun new you know, new tradition for people uh, to read the whole bric-a-brac story. Um, so you can see the artwork. It's fun. It's very like animated style. Um, it's animated and yet also kind of a storybook style as well. Um, just really great stuff, like really fun. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of character, um, a lot of expressiveness, you know? Um, so, you know, we've got Ryan is the, the writer and, uh, Raphael Sam is the artist. Um, really just quality, quality art. It's a fun story. Um, it's really unique. Um, it's not a ter uh, it's not a, a stereotypical Christmas story. Um, it's got a unique feel to it. It's got action and adventure. Your kid won't be bored if they if you buy it and want to read it with your kid. They're not going to be like, oh, this is so lame. It's about the, the power of friendship and believing in Christmas. Like it's fun, but at the same time, it still ha has those elements of heart to it. Um, and I really would love to see this uh, continue on and and really go. So you can see, like, I mean, perks wise, he's got a, a digital perk for eight bucks. You get the PDF, you know, uh, for the physical copy, it's only twelve dollars. So, you know, it's not like he's he's, you know, he's not asking for a lot, you know, um, and it is a, a normal size. It's a 30 page comic. So it's not like it's not a huge graphic novel. It's a 30 page comic. Um you know, they've got the deluxe digital physical one and two. So you can catch up. If you miss the first issue, you can catch up. You can get issues one and two for $24. That's a good deal because now you're getting like a full amount of like graphic novel size story for, you know, basically what most people tend to charge for their graphic novel uh, size books. Really? Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, you know, you've got physical copies, you've got uh, the deluxe for 30, which gets you some extra swag, um, super fan, whatever. You can create a character, you can get original art uh, from Raphael Sam. Really, it's a fun story. It's a good book. It's got quality art, and um, Ryan's a good guy. He tells a good story. So I definitely recommend, I know you're probably not thinking about Christmas right now, but it'll be here before you know it, and I definitely wholeheartedly recommend uh, Brick a Brack. It's really, really good. Um, so anyway, that is Brick a Brack number two. Uh, moving on to our next book, we're gonna get we're go we're going we're like kind of all over the place um, in this episode. We are now gonna move to those were two Indiegogos, uh, and like I said, the links to both of them. The links to all of these these books will be in the description below, so you can absolutely check those out, as, as well as the link to Indie Comics Underground to check out the zine, uh, so you can find out about even more really sweet indie comics and get interviews with creators. 
uh, artist spotlights, all sorts of good stuff. And they all, and every issue is filled with links to get you where you need to go. Uh, but now we're going to do something different. We're going to go over to Kickstarter for two books on Kickstarter. Now, some people prefer Kickstarter over Indiegogo. Some people prefer Indiegogo over, over Kickstarter. I've said it many, many times. I prefer Indiegogo over Kickstarter, but I do use Kickstarter too. Um, so we're going over there because I've got two books that I really think you need to see. Even if you've never backed a Kickstarter ser you know, book before, these are two books I really think you need to see. So continuing on with things that I've talked about on the channel before, we're going to go right here and we're going to share Exilium. Now, Exilium, uh, you may know or you may not know uh, if you follow the channel again for any length of time. Uh, the first series was six issues and it was put out, it was published by Alterna Comics. And then later, uh, Ben, the creator, uh, did a crowdfund for a graphic novel version just basically collected the six issues into one book and that was successful as well and now he's doing a continuation on the story so you can see you could go back into my channel in the comic reviews playlist and you can find reviews i believe i reviewed every single issue all six issues of exilium the first series uh and i loved it it's really great. The art is fantastic and the story is really cool. So uh, essentially what this is, this is now, you know, season two. Uh, so this is going to be a 40 page book. So this is basically a graphic novel at this point. It's a 40 page book. Um, and this is issue one. So you can see he's got, um, you know, 4,600 and change pledged. So he already met his goal. So this book is going to happen. He's got 158 backers. There's 17 days to go. And the thing with Kickstarter, you have to remember, it's not like Indiegogo. If you're used to using Indiegogo, you know that Indiegogo will go in demand after the campaign is over. So you still have time to back. That's not the case with Kickstarter. So if you don't get it, if you don't pledge during the campaign, once that campaign is over, it's over. Um, that's one of the things I prefer about Indiegogo is that you can do the in-demand thing, but this is, you know, he's on Kickstarter. So this is Kickstarter. Um, so anyway, um, he also notes, uh, which is a really cool idea. It's the first person I've seen doing this right in the, he's just got the note. He says he's going to be fulfilling the rewards from both the U S and Australia in order to lower the shipping costs. So that's pretty cool. Um, all the, pledges are in australian dollars but you know kickstarter obviously will convert it um so it'll be lower um so what this is kick uh exilium is a story of the human race uh basically had uh advanced aliens coming to earth but they were on the run so they were essentially like uh refugees uh kind of like alien nation um and then the people who had been oppressing them showed up on earth they unknowingly led them to earth and uh humanity was struggling to defend themselves against them and their only hope was to uh reach out to this group of that's known as the exilium who are humans who no longer li live on earth they were actually banished from earth they were exiled hence the name and when they got there they were in for a shock uh, when they finally did find them. Um, and so our heroes are, you know, the, the story came to a nice conclusion, but there's still more to, story to be told for sure. Um, so, you know, he says the second series is, is continuing right where we left off in season one. Um, and then uh, they've already unlocked two stretch goals. So you're actually going to get, if you back the book, you're actually going to get a digital issue of Mr. Beaver. Um, and you're going to get, a uh, exclusive print. Uh, all the physical backers will get an exclusive print. Um, if he gets to 6,500, he's going to unlock uh, trading cards um, and then so on and so forth. There's more stuff. Um, he's even got, uh, this is neat. He's got a refer a friend thing, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can see like, uh, you know, he's got a couple of different covers. Um, and then here's some preview of the art from, from this issue. Again, like I said, the art is, is, really well done the storytelling is is really fantastic i loved the first series a lot it's really great action sci-fi uh 
just really good stuff. And so we're continuing the story with the same characters. We're picking up where we left off. Um, you know, Solomon is a great artist. This guy is fantastic. He's the artist, Solomon Farias. He's the artist. He's so good. Um, and then you can actually also uh, catch up. So if you missed, he's got ways for you to catch up. He's got original artwork. He's got this figure um, of True, one of the characters. I actually have one of these, uh, which is from his campaign for the uh, Exilium, uh, the first series. Uh, I have one of those. Um, and I also have this too, the uh, limited edition flash drive. Um, so anyway, getting into the perks, let's go back up. I'll show you some some of the art, and then we'll talk about the perks here. Um, so, you know, uh, this is basically just pledge without a reward. Um, and then the digital is five bucks. So for digital, you can get it for five dollars. That's a sweet deal. I mean, if you don't mind. Digital, I know some people hate digital, but if you don't mind digital, there's no obviously no shipping in digital, and you get Season 2, Issue 1, $5. So it's basically the cover price of a comic for a 40-page a comic. You know, that works out about right. Um, and then for to get it in print, it's $10 bucks us dollars. So that's a great deal for, for you know, a 40-page first issue. You actually get the printed version, you get the digital version as well, and then all the stretch goals. Um, so you get all that stuff and that's great. I mean, for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. Like, honestly, that's a great deal. Uh, if you want to catch up digitally, $15 will get you the entire, uh, season one issues one through six as PDFs. And then of course the new issue as a PDF. So if you're digital and you want to just catch up 15 bucks us is a great deal. Um, and then for print the regular plus a variant cover, you know, 20, uh, 20 bucks, like really um and part of this is the uh conversion rate obviously if you're in the u.s this stuff costs less simply because of the value of the dollar versus the australian dollar um but he's got the action figure he's got the digital bundle with all these other comics because he's he's worked on quite a bunch of stuff ben has and so you've got all these other books um that you can choose from uh and then the digital catch up on a usb so he'll give you a usb uh version with all the digital stuff um, which is cool. You get the flash drive and it has all the stuff on it. Um, and then a print, uh, catch up version is $29. So that gets you all that gets you the new book. It gets you all six issues of the print version of Exilium, the first season, the first season and all the stretch goals. Um, so that's a great, but it's limited. There's only 20, there's only 20 of them total. So like that's, you know, and that's $27 and you're getting seven comic books plus all the stretch goals too. Like that's a sweet freaking deal. Um, or you can get the graphic novel version. So that's a little bit more. So you get the graphic novel and the new book. Um, so there's a lot of good stuff. Um, a lot of good stuff. And like I said, the series is fantastic. The first series is great. I totally recommend it. Um, and then the, I can't wait. I've been waiting for him to launch. I can't wait to see this new series. I really enjoyed the first one, so I really can't wait for this one. So that's Exilium season two on Kickstarter. Uh, and then we're going to move on to our final. Again, the link is in the description below. So you can always click on all the links. Don't worry about that. And we're going to move on to our final book of the, the book of this episode. This, my friends, if it ever loads. Uh, you going to load? Hello. StreamYard, why are you messing with me? Oh, are we there now? Finally, okay. Ha ha, huzzah. Okay. This is one I am really excited about as well. This is Knights versus Pirates. Uh, the search for a legendary relic ignites a battle between two of the most fearsome warriors of all time. Jump on board. So this book is Knights vs. Pirates. Uh, it is already funded, so it reached its goal, so it's going to happen. It's got 230 backers, 16 days to go. Again, this is on Kickstarter. Link is in the description. Um, again, when this is over, you're not going to be able to get it because that is the way Kickstarter works. So what is Knights vs. Pirates? 
Knights vs. Pirates is a 140-page graphic novel, and they're offering it to you in three different versions. It's either uh, digital, softcover, and hardcover. So for me, I would m rather have the softcover just because I prefer... I just prefer that to hardcover books. They're just hardcover books are bigger. They take up more space. They're heavier. I don't know. Um, so anyway, um, he's already on. They've already unlocked a stretch goal of additional 16 pages. Um, so uh, again, uh, the, the, this is listed in, I believe pounds, euros, whatever this is. But anyway, let's get to the story. Cause that's what really counts. Um, it is essentially, Blackbeard versus King Arthur. So, you know, it says bear witness as the most feared pirate ever to sail the seven seas. Blackbeard himself and his crew of ruthless cutthroats face off against the most revered king to ever rule over Great Britain, King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. So first thing you're going to notice when you look at this is, well, first thing you're going to notice is from what I just told you is how cool the concept is. It is literally going to be King Arthur and his knights against Blackbeard and his pirates, at, both searching for the same thing. Then the next thing you're going to notice is how freaking sweet this art is. They're on a quest for the Holy Grail, and both of them are going for the Holy Grail, and of course, when Blackbeard and his pirates run into King Arthur and his knights, things aren't going to go well. Look at this freaking art, dude. I've been watching the rest of this book post, um, you know, work in progress art and stuff over the, you know, months and, and whatnot. His artwork is, look at these pages. You can get original pages, by the way, as part of the campaign. Look at these pages, bro. Look at this. I've been watching him post like work in progress pages. This guy's art is out of this world. It is so good, so detailed, so like action packed. It's just ridiculous, dude. So it's Chris Ember, uh, who is the artist, like I said, who I've been raving about his art right here. Um, and there's all sorts of stuff. They've got beanies, they've got, uh, art prints so the different um there are different uh like i said different editions and uh also with the the perks we'll look at the perks in a minute but you can get like these pinups so you can get a team knight pinup so it's arthur and his knights you can get a team pirate pinup so it's um a print i mean so it's uh blackbeard and his pirates or you can get this one with the, the split skull and the, the helmet you can get it even get a beanie um, and then they've even got this bundle here with all these other books that he's worked on. Um, so there's all these other books that you can check out as well. Dude's art is off the hook. Um, so anyway, um, we're going to skip over the back it without a reward thing. Cause that's not why we're here. Obviously, um, digital, you can get it for eight bucks. Um, so eight bucks gets you 140 pages of this book digital, um, team pirate. Uh, you can get this one. Now, this is about $18. So what this is, is it gets you the digital version and it gets you the print version. So this is where your first step in to get a print version of the book is. And that's about $18. Um, and you get, if you do Team Pirate, see, this is where the prints that I showed earlier come in. If you did Team Pirate, you get the book, you get the digital file of the book, and you get the pirate art print, and you get the, a bookmark. If you do Team Knight, you get the print version of the book, you get um, the digital version, you get the bookmark, and you get the night art print. Um, and then if you do the battle pack, which is about $27, you this one gets you pretty much everything, really. It gets you the, the print edition of the book, it gets you the digital edition of the book, it gets you the bookmark, the night art print, the pirate art print, the exclusive Knights versus Pirates art print, which is the one with the split skull and the helmet, and the beanie. So that one, I mean, that deal, it's $27 is actually a pretty good deal to get all that stuff. Like from, and it's a hundred, and don't forget the book is 140 pages and you're talking $27. Like that's nuts because a lot of people are charging $25 just to get in and get like a 48 page graphic novel, just a book and maybe like a few stretch goals after the fact. Um, but this is giving you a lot, including a beanie, um, which, you know, 
your mileage may vary. Um, you know, then there's this one, which gets you the hardcover version. Uh, and that's a little bit more. That's 37. So if you want the hardcover with all that stuff, you can get that. Um, there's a retailer special. Um, there's the treasure chest, which is about $53. So you get all sorts of stuff. It adds the the nine comic bundles. So you get all these books over here. Um, and you can get the hardcover or the softcover, whichever one you'd prefer. All the prints, the beanie. Uh, it gets you a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, and then for the original artwork, and this is what I was talking about before, you can get the original artwork and you get everything in that previous tier. So you get everything. You get the books, you get the extra books, you get the prints, you get all sorts of stuff, plus an original page of artwork. So you can get one of these original pages and you can pick. They're all numbered. So you can pick which one you want and it's $146. And then, so what he, what he has is he has each page. So you just pick, if you want one of the original pages, you just go through the tiers and see which ones are left. And then you pick the one that you want, the corresponding number. So let's say you want, let's say, okay, let's say I want page number 13. I come down, that's page 13. So that's the one I would get if I want that one. Um, so really, really, really cool stuff. And like I said, the art is just out of this world. Um, and I'm really like, I love the concept, the concept of the, the Knights of the round table versus Blackbeard and his pirates is super appealing to me. And the idea of, um, 140 pages for minimal price, like what he's, he's asking for, honestly, um, and I can get it the way I want it, which would be the, the soft cover. This is the one I would want. Um, just so, so appealing. It just looks so good. Um, like I said, the art is just ridiculous. And, and like I said, and you can get in team pirate or team Knight for about 18 us, 18 us dollars plus shipping, of course. Um, and it gets you a 140 page graphic novel. I mean, that's ridiculous, you know, I just, I just, it's just nuts, dude. <laughs> I just can't even like, it's, it's just amazing to me. And like I said, the art is just so, so good. So anyway, you could tell I'm hyped about this one. This one I'm really excited about. Cause this one for me hits a spot of like, just duh. Like you, you, are you stupid? You need to back this. Like, you know what I mean? Like just for the price and everything, like I just can't see not backing this. There's nothing about this that I could see not being appealing, at least to me. Um, you know, obviously everybody has their own thoughts and what they like, uh, but for me, it's just freaking fantastic. So anyway, that is Knights versus Pirates. That's on Kickstarter. All the links to all the campaigns are in the description below. Every time I say I'm going to try to make these videos faster, they always wind up being like a half an hour long. So I don't know how to fix that unless I cut and don't do as many campaigns, but I just can't do it. I There's so many amazing campaigns out there. I feel like I need to share at least four with you in every episode. So if you like this video, if you like more, if you like videos like this, uh, please hit the subscribe, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell for notifications, click the thumbs up. Let me know what I'm doing in the comments below. Let me know if any of these books look cool to you if you're thinking of backing them or if you already backed them let me know i love to hear about that kind of stuff i love to hear that people are buying and reading comics uh, especially really cool ones like the four that we featured here we had fatal bric-a-brac number two exilium season two and knights versus pirates so many good so many good books i've got so many other books that i want to tell you guys about i was trying to limit you know cut down my list to four uh, for this ish, for this episode, and it's hard. And I'm working on the new issue of Indie Comics Underground, which is my zine. Don't forget to go to Indie Comics Underground. Sign up. Make sure you get early access to every issue. I've got an exclusive comic going inside the zine. The first uh, episode of that, the first chapter of that, was in the last issue, which you can go to the website and you can read right now for free. It's always free. It's got links to everything. You're gonna love it. You gotta do it. What are you waiting for? I'm turning into a salesman. Okay, it's time to go. I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed this episode and peace out.